So Josh, week to go now until your big fight. English title defence in your home city. Obviously, stunning venue behind you. It must be good to uh, put Leeds back on the map. Uh, yeah, looking forward to getting boxing back here. Hopefully, this goes well. Get your regular, make it a regular venue, but not looking past this next fight. And uh, it's going to be a full house here next Friday and uh, looking forward to it. How much you know about Jamie Spate? He's boxed at quite a lot of weights. I think he's uh, made a few comments in the press as well that I've got up here. He knows a little bit. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's talking quite confident. Uh, he's done a couple of interviews where he's talking like he's already, you know, got this one in bag and what's what future. So he's, he's very confident. I don't know much about him. Um, I've seen his record and seen bits of footage, but uh, you know, he's going to come up here and try to cause an upset. But um, we've not got to let that happen. And uh, you know, training's gone well, so I'm, I'm feeling good and I've improved a lot since my last fight. So yeah, it should be a good fight. I don't want to look beyond this fight. You've won the English title, you went away to do that. At your weight at featherweight, there's maybe you know not so much opposition around now. Selby's champion, Joe Murray's been out of the picture for a while, but they're still talking he might get a British title shot. So after this, do you think you're going to be in that British title picture? Um, well, it's been mentioned, we've spoke about it. Um, we'll probably look at uh, defending title again, who knows. It, it just, we we'll try to take it as steady as possible, um, going into work nicely. Uh, maybe if an opportunity does come up, well then we'll think we'll we'll talk about it within camp, and um, you know if it's the right opportunity, then we'll take it. You know, but um, I'm in no rush at, at the minute of time, just to take everyone as it comes. Will you be nervous when you're uh, in front of this crowd here, back in your own city? It's been a long time since you last boxed in Leeds, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Uh, been a couple of years since I've last boxed here. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's going to be good. It's it's make, going to make me raise my game. Um, knowing how many people is coming has made me raise my game in training and train that little bit harder. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to put good performance on and uh, make it entertaining. Do you feel privileged as well when you take into consideration that the last time there was a show here, it's Carl Johansson fighting Ricky Burns. Ricky Burns went on to be a world champion yeah. in a big Sky show. Yeah. There's not been one since then. That's six years, and now you're headlining. Yeah, it's. Um, I remember watching that that show myself. I was probably amateur, yeah, young lad, uh, just boxing schoolboys, and uh, and now I'm here as a champion myself, headlining it. And uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, response to tickets has been really good. Um, so yeah, we just want to make this uh, a good regular venue, hopefully. And Leeds boxing is buzzing as well at the minute, isn't it? You know, China Clark won an English title last week. Adelaide is going to fight for a British title. Two kids last year won ABA, he's another one year before, so, uh, you know, it's uh, bouncing back. It is. Um, it's been a while since uh, it's been like this. Um, you know, with our camp, we've got, like, Gary Sykes fighting for English title. Um, and then, like you mentioned before, you, uh, China Clark just went English, Adel about to fight for the British. And, yeah, the really good vibe about the city, and it's uh, the size of the city. You're surprised to not have that many boxes you'd, ex you'd expect to have. You know, quite a few up and coming boxes, but now it has, and hopefully, we can, um, you know, I'll put Leeds on map. Last question on the night, are you going to be uh, coming into March not together? I have to wait and see, that's a surprise. Excellent, good luck. Thank you. Cheers.